Hello everybody, my name is Aaron. This is a 3D printer. This is an XYZ DaVinci 1.0 printer. It is in shambles, but it was pretty easy to get it here. Just pull off the side panel, they just pop off, and same with the roof, there's not even any screws. The bars of death. This is bricked or something like that, something along those lines. So um, I already checked the cable because that might be a problem if you got a cut in your cable, but mine's fine. It is um, only displaying two black bars. It is running firmware 0.91. If you want to see that video, check out the links. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually flash it to 0.92 Repetier firmware. So let's do that. To do this, you're going to need access to your back panel. Look at that, pretty pretty. I think it's only two screws to get back here. Pretty easy stuff. This is a chip, or something like a chip, that's on an Arduino. So um, yeah, naturally, you can hack the crap out of this. So the most important thing right now is this JP1. JP1! Right there. Mine doesn't actually have any, um, what do you call it, any jumper pins on it, but it's still got solder points and you can jump it. JP1 is so you can erase the firmware. So you'll have JP1 with pins in it, JP1 without, and then you'll have J37 and then J something something in the future when they do this again, again, again. So uh, that is just to uh, erase the firmware and to use it, you short it, turn on the system for five seconds, and then you turn it back off. Okay, so now I'm going to do my flash before I upload. And I'm gonna use these trusty pair of pliers. Okay, so that's holding there, I'm gonna flick it on. One, two, three, four, five, off. Now when I flick it on again, the computer should tell me it's something else. Yes, so. Now it's reading it as a BOSA program port. Okay, port 12. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow this instruction thing. I'm gonna walk you step by step because some of it is confusing sometimes if you don't know what you're talking about, yada yada. So this link, this is where the firmware is. I'll provide this link in the description. These first two steps are how to short out your MOBO. You need to download the Arduino software. I recommend 1.5.8 because the directories didn't quite line up for the 1.6.3, which I'll show you in a minute here, yada yada. Okay, you wanna update the Arduino folder with files from the firmware that we just downloaded here. In order to download this firmware, because you are on GitHub, it took me like five minutes to find it. It's on the right hand side, download zip, and then you get it all, and then you extract it, and then we continue. So here's the extracted files from GitHub. We're gonna go to source, Arduino D, additional Arduino files, pick which version, I'm going the 1.5.8 because I noticed that the folders didn't quite line up on the 1.6.3 and I didn't know enough about Arduino to uh, put them in the right spot by myself. So this hardware folder is all we need to copy. So we're gonna to go to the Arduino install directory, which is C, program files x86, Arduino. And there's a hardware folder. All we're gonna do is drag and drop. Are you sure you wanna do this and overwrite it? Yes, I am. OMG, yes to all. There's more conflicts. Do this for the next one. Move and replace, fantastic, everything's done. Now we go back into here, go to the Repetier folder, head on down to the freaking, there it is, Repetier INO. Okay, so this opens up. There we go. Now we're going to head on over to the configuration.h. And this right here is the most important part. This tells you, tells the software kind of printer you have. So if, put one in this blank, or this spot where the one is for the DaVinci 1.0, put two for two with one fan, put three for DaVinci two with two fans. Okay, and then uh, define model, first generation, jumper, 
reset which I have so it's zero if you have a uh, jumper J37 then you want to put a one for that um, the next one is to find the fan how you're gonna handle it mainly just put zero but if you've got other things on your mind you can put uh, a one now since that's done I'm gonna go to tools there we go why is this taking forever board okay and I want the Arduino do which is at the bottom native USB tools you want a port com5 ba bam bams okay now it's saying in the bottom corner hey everything's looking all right thumbs up brah now we're going to hit the check mark and hope that no errors show up at the bottom oh it worked done compiling fantastic now that that's done we are going to do the impossible and that's push to the printer and in order to push to the printer, we're gonna push upload. And the monkey flips the switch. I finally got it to start writing. And now it is flashing correctly. So that's exciting. Verifying flash, so it's done. Oh, did you hear that? Uh oh. <laughs> well, this is exciting. Verify successful set boot flash true. CPU reset. So we're gonna hit connect. Then we grab our G code that we made and I'll show you how we did that. Went to the G code editor here and just added 502 and M500. And then we're gonna hit print, start print. And this is gonna take it out of safe mode. There you go. Now, unfortunately, I think my problems go further than this because my screen has still got two bars in it but you should be pretty much good to go right now to print so if you have any comments leave it in the video comments section i'm gonna try and flash all the way down to factory default and then come back up but yeah this should have walked you through pretty much how to flash and how to have a good time with very little alcohol all right thank you for watching want to see more hip channel we're going to do a bunch of cool, crazy stuff to this. We'll see you next time. Ciao.